Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So it's Magical Monday today, brand new week, powerful, we're moving into the energy of the full moon coming in on Thursday or Friday because you're going to feel it around then, so a lot of power coming in this week so I'm going to use three powerful decks of cards we're going to bring in Goody's deck from Twin Flame Love and she shared a fantastic video over the weekend I put it on the community page as well her channel is Twin Flame Love Goody Rose Hill if you want to check her out she talked about how you know the masculines when they take a step back they're always moving forward and you know when we are feeling rejected by our, by our twin it's always so we can be redirected in a new way. We can learn something new. We can understand. We can see it from a higher perspective and focus on the love. I'm also going to bring in the answers from above deck to bring in, you know, some guidance from heaven. Things that we need to know on this journey. Things that we need to be aware of. This may also answer any questions that you may have related to the journey right now. And we're going to bring in the beautiful spirit animal oracle. With the beautiful white stag on the front connected with mission so thank you angel so what's the energy please around the connection today what do we need to be aware of straight out the deck there wow okay what's the energy around the divine feminines today please angels wow okay i thought they were going to come out but that's the one and the energy around the divine masculine today what do we need to know for the masculine please angels definitely that one and they're telling me to carry on yep yeah, there we go what answers please angels do we have look at that soon it's coming soon what answers do we need to know please for the journey today for the journey today the connection strumped out there we go and that one the answer for the divine feminine wow quite a few of these coming out so i feel that you know you may be asking questions in your mind that are going to buoy your faith so the answer around the divine masculine right now what do we need to know for the masculines two cards so again big sign clarity is coming in for the masculine as things become more clear whereas feminines you've got more cards so you know you may need to know more information right now so the energy around the connection, please, angels. What do we need to know around the connection today? The energy around the divine feminines and the energy around the divine masculine. Wow, look at that. I love how these cards are orange and I've decided to wear orange today. Very powerful. So what, and these cards are moving on top. Wow. So the energy around the connection today, we've got the rabbit spirit. Wow, it says now is a lucky time. Now, this has just reminded me of something because... The angels always guide me when I'm doing readings to things they want me to share. Now, over the weekends, I've been bombarded with ladybirds or what you may call ladybugs. In the UK, we call them ladybirds. They've been in the bedroom, not just one or two. We've been having like five or six coming in. So clearly they're getting in from somewhere, but they are a huge sign of luck. Whether you see that as lucky or unlucky because they're coming in the bedroom, I see that as very lucky and what I've been doing is putting them outside because I don't want them to die because it's very warm in this house. So I've been putting them outside and so yesterday I spent some time actually putting them outside and talking to them and, you know, letting them know that it's okay for them to go in, into the outdoors for whatever reason they've come inside. And I thought, oh, I wonder if I'm going to see any more. And then me and George watching our show last night and one of the girls in that bed, she was actually touching a ladybird that was on a leaf and this is in walking dead you know it's in a show that you wouldn't expect something like that to be in but big sign of the ladybird about luck so i feel you're going to see ladybirds and i know so many of you are seeing them right now which is a sign of luck you may even be seeing the number 13 which is also a big sign of luck it's a lucky number and the numbers 717 which show you you're on the right path. Now, the rabbit or the bunny or the hare is a huge sign about Easter. And I feel this is saying to you that as we move towards Easter time, which is a time of rebirth and change, it's a lucky time. So there's a lucky time in the connection. They're also giving me the number 49. Four is about angel protection. And nine is about your spiritual path and journey. 
There may even be a significant age coming up, 49 for someone, a masculine maybe, that's going to be a lucky time for them in their life. So the message is, look at this, pay attention to the signs because the signs are helping you to believe. Now, that's really powerful because the ladybirds, the rabbits, the stag, the bees. I saw a bee on Saturday that was so big, I was kind of quite scared of it, you know. It was like a huge bumblebee trying to get in the side of Georgie's car. So, believe. So, I feel the ladybirds especially, and even rabbits today, or bunnies, or hares, however you see the rabbit spirit, is showing you that there's luck here. So, believe. So, if you see ladybirds or rabbits, do let me know in the comments section. But whatever your sign is that's unique to you and your twin and your journey is helping you to believe, to pay attention to the signs and believe. Very beautiful. Things are flipped around in this love, and that's so true. You know, things are flipped around in this love. I was just looking because there's some writing at the bottom there. So, you know, things are written in this journey, but also flipped around. What does that mean? It means things don't happen the way you expect them to. So they're flipped around. So maybe you think, oh, well, if your masculine loves you, he should behave like this. But he flips that, that thinking around and he acts a different way. And that's why it's so hard, because as a family, we have to learn to do things a lot differently than we've done before. And the masculines have to learn that too. The masculines have to learn to ask for what they want in love. And the feminines have to learn to release that, that trying, you know, that control where we try and do things a certain way. So everything gets flipped around on this journey. Things are flipped around in this love. And it's to move everything forward. So right now, what this is saying is things are turning around. Things are flipping around. Things are turning around. So believe because the journey right now is turning around and luck is on your side and that's why you've got that rabbit and they're giving me fear so fear is being flipped around into faith doubt is being flipped around into understanding and clarity very powerful so let's do the masculine first then so for the masculine we've got groundhog spirit time to let go groundhog what does that remind you of groundhog day doing things the same every day, going round and round in circles on a treadmill, getting up, going to bed, getting up, going to work, going to bed, doing the same thing every day. The masculines no longer want that. That's the past. They want adventure. They want excitement. They want new beginning. They want to have faith in that new beginning. And this is showing this to you. You know, I'm seeing this as a beaver. And beavers are very intellectual beings too. You know, they're reminding me of, um, I mean, this could be a ground dog, you know, or whatever this, this animal is to you. But they show me as a beaver, as in, in Narnia, when the beaver was kind of in charge of things in a way, because Mr. and Mrs. Beaver protected the children, they guided them to Aslan, and, you know, they had lots of wisdom too. They're very intelligent creatures, so... I feel this about the masculines having that intelligence, they're being guided, and they're being shown the way to Aslan. They're being shown the way. So they're being shown the way to you. And they are also seeing the signs that are helping them to believe. Now, we've also got the butterfly for the divine masculine, which is about their transformation. Transformation is beautiful, and it is. Everything they are going through right now, it's so beautiful. This journey is so beautiful when we perceive it that way. We have to gain clarity and understanding through it. So he's showing you he's transforming. Things will spring forward. That's a message from him to you. Things will move forward. Things will spring forward. Huge sign of change. And I spoke about this yesterday in the Divine Feminine reading when I explained about my Divine Masculine making that decision in January to learn to drive and buy a car and do it and what has he done he got a fast track course he got his car he passed his test he was very motivated and he did what he said he was going to do so this is another sign of the masculines driving this journey forward and pushing things forward so he's saying to you things will spring forward again the spring energy connected with the rabbit connected with easter and right now he's going through a chakra healing what does that mean he's being cleansed that's why you're having heart things happening to you. 
especially in the heart, in the throat, but the heart mainly, heart palpitations, heart flutters, skipping a beat, you know, anxiety. It's because his heart is opening to this love and, you know, he's experiencing things in his chakra system. He's experiencing things that open him up to this love. Purify your mind, it will purify mind. Very powerful. So a lot of purity, clarity coming in right now. He's purifying his mind. He's getting very clear about what he wants. And I saw you and looked deep into your soul. So he's saying, when I see you, when I saw you for the first time, when I see you again, I'm going to look right into your soul because all paths lead home. I want to expand with you. So he wants to expand. What does that mean? He doesn't want ground dog day anymore. He doesn't want to be going round and round and round in a boring circle. He wants excitement, adventure. He wants to find his way to the stone table. Like he wants to be with us. Like he wants to move forward. I want to expand with you. I want to find myself with you and in you. I want to do things with you. And I'm discovering the nature of reality. So he's discovering himself, the nature of his reality, what this all is, what it's all about, what this connection is. And when he's going outdoors in nature, he's feeling things, he's seeing signs, he's understanding. And feel my love blooming for you. Wow. And I love that we've got some pink flowers in there too. And that was amazing how many of you saw those pink flowers because the masculines are showing you their love. So he's saying, my love is blooming for you. Feel that things are springing forward. Things are happening behind the scenes, but we must believe. Very beautiful. So masculines today, very clear. A lot of clarity coming in for that. Feminine, you've got the lizard spirit. Dream the world into being. So you're being reminded that your thoughts have power. Your thoughts become things. This is about your vision and your creativeness. Having that vision, trusting that vision, expanding your mind, being like the archer and having that clear path to what you want because you can do this. So the angel is saying to you, whatever you dream of, whatever you desire, whatever you're wanting in this connection, you can do this and you can carry on. I know it's hard when you feel like you can't go on, you feel tired, you feel drained, you feel depleted. You can do this. All you have to do is give back to yourself and observe your reality from a higher perspective. Absolutely. That's exactly what we're being guided to do. So we see it through the eyes of love, not fear. We don't get triggered as much. We rise up and we replace that doubt with faith. We start to see because you are protected and you are safe. You are not alone. This journey is protected. If you're being redirected, if you're being held back right now, there's a reason. And the way is being made. Remember, delays are always delayed with love. The way is being made. Archangel Nathaniel creating the way. The romance angels working behind the scenes to bring you back together. And there is a blessing on the way that you can't yet see. And this is going to come in between now and Easter. So there's a blessing there. You can't see it yet. And that's why you have to believe it. The past and other lifetimes teach you what you need for the here and now. So everything you've been through in the past, everything you've been through in childhood, in previous relationships, which are catalysts to your union, everything you've experienced in a past life has got you ready for the here and now. This is the life now. This is where the angels are saying to you, your union is possible in this lifetime. But you have to believe and let go of the past. And the 5D is where it's at. So that's where you're going to get clarity. That's where you're going to realize. That's where you can believe. So right now, connect with them in the 5D realm. Dream, dream big, expand your vision. And I am scared of losing myself in you. So if you feel right now like you've lost yourself a little bit because you're too involved in this journey, you're too involved in what they are doing, give back to you. Maybe just watch the Divine Feminine readings for a little while, a couple of days, and then come back. Realize your truth and who you are. Give back to you. And you are my dream come true, being your true self. So what this is saying is you're perfect for each other. When you are your true self, you shine. Remember, turn on your heart light this week. Shine wherever you go. And your masculine wants to be their true self with you. And you're saying you're my dream. So everything right now for you, Divine Feminine, it's about dreams. You know, dreams coming true. Whatever that card is, is that one? 
Yeah, dream the world's into being, dreams coming true, magic happening, things taking place, breathing, connecting on the 5D. So I feel for you, feminines, dreams getting very vivid. You know, you're feeling all of this, you're expanding your vision because things are falling into place. So it's springing forward right now. There's magic coming in, huge things propelling you towards each other. So trust in the love. So you may see butterflies today, especially butterflies, they're telling me, and rabbits, ladybirds, you know, things that show you this love is real. You may even see beavers. Feel some of you are going to see beavers because that's a big sign that you're both being guided by the signs and the signs show you the way to your union. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.